big court decision handed down today in Colorado's highest court. The state Supreme Court ruled that local fracking moratoriums are unconstitutional. Denver 7's Mark Boyle is live in Weld County. Mark, there are now maybe, maybe far more drilling locations as a result. And the oil and gas industry says it's a good thing for the Colorado economy, yet people up here, like in Weld County, they say more signs like this, and eyesores, they say like that one, may be concerning as fracking continues up here. When I bought this place, that was just an open field. Tom Stelly lives in Weld County and right next to a lot that had fracking operations go up and come down during the three years he lived here. When you come home and want to relax after work, um, it was like a freight train in your house. Stelly says the noise was nonstop for about three months, and while the noise might be over for him, it may now just be starting for others with the Colorado Supreme Court's decision that local moratoriums on fracking are invalid and unconstitutional. Of those we spoke with in Longmont, nearly all of them tell us they're concerned with this. There's been horror stories about that and, you know, leaks in the oil and affects our natural resources. I mean, our um, animals and wildlife. Fort Collins said it's too early to know how this will impact their city. Longmont's mayor said the city has protections in place, like no drilling in neighborhoods. It'll help keep residents safe. So I don't know what the next steps will be if, uh, you know, they can appeal that or, or what's going to happen. Now, Fernandez says that now he's just going to see kind of what happens in this whole thing and how this shakes out for cities like Longmont. Meantime, oil and gas industry says that this will continue to move forward as planned. We're live in Weld County. Mark Boyle, Denver 7.